All right, Terry, we're getting ready for a preseason game number three with the Browns. Uh, Robert Griffin III has had one game where he didn't, do, didn't show much, another game where uh, in a limited amount of time he looked pretty good at times. Um, headed into the season, what are you thinking? Um, and does he maybe uh, deserve the benefit of the doubt going into the season? Does he deserve time to show what well, he Well, if nothing else, he, has a ch he deserves a chance to fail. How about that? There we go. I mean, yeah. seriously, yeah. start with that. Number you know, the first preseason game, he played a grand total of 11 snaps. That's not going to really show you a whole lot. Uh, second time, he played the entire first half where he did show something. But when you talk about benefit of the doubt, whose idea is Robert Griffin? Hugh Jackson. That's who I'm primarily giving the benefit of the doubt for three reasons. Number one is you know, people are aware well of Andy uh, Dalton, you know, how he really helped him. Right. Joe Flacco, while he didn't draw uh, Flacco, he was a quarterback coach designed with t teaching Joe how to take a snap under center because he never did. Never did in college. And yeah. Flacco obviously just raves about Jackson. And a third one that people don't know a whole lot about, but in his two years calling plays and being the offensive coordinator in Oakland, we saw Jason Campbell play here. He was 11 and 7 with Jason right. Campbell. Yeah, exactly. So he's done well with quarterbacks. And, you know, his reputation is a little bit on the line with Robert Griffin. This was his idea. And I don't think he's bringing Griffin in here if he thinks it's doomed to fail. Right. Okay, along that line then with uh, Hughes, the people he's bringing in, Terrell Pryor, same kind of thing? Uh, yeah, he had Pryor on the practice squad in Cincinnati, convinced him to try wide receiver. And as you can see, he's put him in positions where Pryor could show what he can do. And you look at, the, we've seen in the first two games, two long passes, RG3 to Pryor. Two athletes connecting on big plays. You know, you can say whether it's a tease or it's a preview of something to come. We haven't seen a whole lot of that stuff the last few years. Right.